in Excel and I have entered the data for our standard curve. So here we've got our glucose concentration. Here we've got the corresponding absorbances. We have zeroed the spectrophotometer. So at glucose uh, concentration of zero milligram per milliliter, we actually get an absorbance of zero. And we want to calculate a standard curve for that and look uh, what this standard curve looks like. Now, the first thing that we really need to do is we need to ask ourselves which of our measurements are actually okay or is there one measurement that does not really that we shouldn't use and we know that any absorbances above one we should not really trust so this last absorbance at uh, 50 milligram per milliliter and this is actually an absorbance uh, of 1.566. And uh, we really should not trust this uh, absorbance because it is be above one. And therefore, uh, we just simply uh, delete this value so that we don't uh, by accident use this value. OK, so let's draw uh, a simple graph and see what this graph looks like. So I just simply highlight the cells here by left mouse click, go to insert. And then up here in the ribbon, I choose the XY scatter plot. So that is this one here and I just use the dots. And uh, here I have my graph and it looks uh, reasonably linear. I give it a nice title. So this would be glucose oxidase, glucose uh, standard. That is what we use here. And for the x-axis, of course, we have our concentration. And I just simply write this by hand uh, in here. Um, so here, I just simply write that here, glucose concentration, glucose concentration. And that was in milligram per milliliter. And for the uh, y-axis here, we've got absorbance and the absorbance, of course, does not have any unit. So that gives us our standard curve. And of course, what we want to do is we want to put in a nice uh, line of best fit here. So the way we do that is we just simply click on one of the data points, left mouse click, so that they are all highlighted. And we then do a right mouse click and go to add trend line. That is the line of best fit. And here we get a trend line uh, that looks uh, pretty nice, a uh, decent one. And we want to have the uh, equation on chart, the equation for this trend line. Uh, we get this equation here and we also get uh, the R square value. This R square value actually uh, gives us information about the quality, how far away our measurements are from this trend line. Uh, it is an indicator how good this line of best fit is. Here we've got 98%. That means 98% of our uh, absorbances are actually explained by the corresponding glucose concentration. And that is a reasonably good value for a straight line. OK, so what we have now got here is the equation for a straight line. We can also double check that these numbers are correct um, because we know that the uh, straight line is actually, uh, we can write uh, a straight line uh, by the equation y equals mx plus C and we would get for our M for the gradient we get this 0 0.0313 and for the uh, Y intercept we get a value of negative 0 0.0261 but um, we can also calculate that 
uh, in Excel. So we can, for example, say we want to calculate the gradient. So the gradient, that is our value for m. And we can do that with the built-in function in Excel. So this would be equals, and we start typing the command slope, which is highlighted here. And uh, we need to do the known y values first. So that's our absorbance here, absorbance. And then we do the uh, corresponding x values. That is this one here. And we close the bracket. And we get our value for the gradient of this line, that is this m0.0313. Yes, uh, we got that right here. And we can do the same for the intercept. So yeah, for the intercept, um, we start with equals intercept, and it gives us this option here. And again, we need to do the y values first left mouse button clicked and drag down, comma, and the x values as well. Okay, so here we've got the x values and again we've got the 0 0.026. So that is our standard curve. And what we are now trying to do is we need to figure out what is the um, glucose concentration when we have an absorbance of 0 0.543. So we measured in our assay, we had 40 microliters. And so we took 40 microliters in the assay of our diluted honey concentration and we got an absorbance of 0 0.543. Now we now want to figure out what is this equivalent to in terms of glucose concentration. So what we would do usually is we just simply go to 0 0.543, that's about uh, roughly here, in the absorbance, and we try to figure out what is the corresponding glucose concentration of this. So the way we would deal with that is we would go over in a parallel line to the x-axis, uh, where it then hits the standard curve, and just simply go down and try to get the correct value for our glucose concentration. And here it would be a probably a rough estimate, I would say, is probably around 18, roughly, say, 18 milligram per milliliter. That is a rough estimate, but of course we can do a little bit better because uh, since we've got the equation for a straight line here already, what we can do is we just simply uh, rearrange this equation here a little bit and make x the subject. So we bring the c to the other side. So we have mx equals y value minus c. And for x, we just simply divide this by minus c divided by the gradient. So uh, what we can do now for x is we just simply uh, use the values that we have. So we would say equals, and we need to put a bracket up because we need to calculate the numerator first. So we calculate uh, zero point, our y value, that was 0 0.543 minus the intercept, that was our c value, and we've calculated that here. And we divide that by the gradient, our m value that we've calculated here, and hopefully if we've uh, entered everything correctly, 
uh, we get a value for our x and we get actually 18.1 six milligrams per milliliter. So in our estimate, we were not too far off. So the concentration of the, um, of, uh, the glucose in the assay that gave us this uh, 0 0.543 uh, is actually around 18.2 milligram per milliliter. So that was uh, what we uh, found in the essay. And in the next video, uh, then we will use our knowledge of the dilutions to figure out what was the concentration in the uh, undiluted honey.